we were working on your singles and you had some success with getting alternating singles up to speed. Um, and it was a, 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 an exercise I created based on Murray Speedback Percussion Studio Single Strokes page. Right. Why don't you pull that out? Okay, so if you were to put the metronome on at 44 and just play this chart, this is like a classic famous Spivak chart, real smart too. What it does is it gives you the feeling of speed in bursts. And uh, so it affords you the opportunity to relax in between the increase in between increasing the speed. Okay. Now we talked about the importance of the grip. So let's just let me reiterate while you're getting your setup together. Uh, what we want to consider is the grip. This technique has a very specific grip. See, there are a bunch of different ways to play singles real fast. But this technique has a very particular approach, which means we have to understand this technique's grip, that three finger grip. Okay. We also want to understand, recognize that with this technique, as Richard Martinez would say, as Buddy Rich would say, apparently Dennis Chambers, it's all in the wrist, right? So we need to feel a wrist turn. Now we, we're not incorporating any motions with regards to this, this page, so it's real simple. Grip, wrist turn. And I should also add, we always have a floor. We always come back to that starting position. So just show me a wrist turn in the right. One wrist turn. And if you weren't to turn quite that high, how would it look? Okay. And re you remember that you want to feel that stick land on the middle finger. That middle finger is a really big deal within the context of this three finger grip. Right? Because it's going to become our fulcrum when we when we begin to allow the stick to rebound. So but don't worry about that yet. That's a whole other you know what is it? Can of worms? All the while. Barrel of barrel of monkeys. And so show me a wrist turn in the left. You do that again. Okay, it just comes to a stop at the floor, right at the floor. Okay, <laughs> go ahead and play this. Metronome at 44. <clears throat> I went into. No, no, I just, that's, I know, I know, you, I know, we're not doing that right now. Oh, okay. Just gonna, we're just going to go over what does it feel like to, to turn our wrists? on that narrow fulcrum detection. 
on to the next one. Next one. One and two and three and four. Two and three and four. Okay, watch the next one. One and two and three and four and. We don't want to put an accent on the last note to help us find metronome at the same time <laughs> as we make our, our tap. Faster. You don't start to drive that stick through the surface. A little faster. Up and Okay, go on to the next one. Slow that is. Three, four, five, six. Go ahead and put them together. Five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, I'm playing with doubles or it's, it's alternating singles. Three, four, five, six. Go ahead. Two, three, four, five, six. Don't get louder for the last note. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's not that fast. Five, six. You want the next one? Three, four, five, six. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Don't get louder to get six and one, two, three, four, five, six, 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 and one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six, and okay, go on to the next one, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, You don't have to pound it through the surface. Listen. Listen, Joe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's nice and nice and easy. It's just this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You don't have to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This script. right at the floor. It doesn't come down after. I'm challenging you now. Turning higher, the, pro the propensity is to lose the floor. Or maybe you never really had a floor. Not bad. 
So seven, but turn higher and get back to the floor. Right. It's a little hard for you to come up high. It's a little. Well, and maintaining the floor, I'll try. Come up a little bit. And Move on to the next one. Seven and. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and. fast singles is really helpful with regards to learning this technique because I think you started to feel that stick in that three finger grip. Yes. See it it really it really it really comes down to the energy coming from the turning of the wrist is directly is directly translated into this three finger grip. It all ends up in this tiny little place. So that we're moving, we're moving this big chunk of wood. You were talking about it earlier. And I'm just gonna hit the camera. Because this thing has been working and messing with me, but messing with us. Let's try that. Let's just see. Sometimes that'll fix it. Maybe a little better. Okay, so what, what, what is happening here is that everything is happening within the context of this little narrow grip. The fulcrum becomes tiny, becomes tiny. Right? Yeah, you, you don't want you don't want this look. So you don't want this with the fingers angled way down like that. See how yours look? Yeah. Mine look like that. Mine, mine look like they're running more sideways. They're running. They're, of course, they are. They are angled. What? Let's see. They're angled down like that. Like that. Not not like this. More like like this. So that we're trying to get that fulcrum to run. Right? Because a teeter totter typically, right? We're, we're trying to, you know, create as close to this classic first class teeter totter lever system as possible. So we want that middle finger in a natural position because the human hand has a certain shape. And so the fulcrum does run in this direction. Right. But we don't want it to run. Yeah, right. In this direction. OK, so just be aware of that is. Yeah, you see the fourth and fifth, if you go putting them on. And running them down the stick, it, it shifts the whole grip so that the grip starts to. Take on some other form as opposed to yeah. this. This. Dick would say it's like picking up a marble. Yeah. To pick, how would you pick up a marble? Okay, so what's happening is we're moving this chunk of wood. We're moving this chunk of wood. I'll play for a second. But we're moving this chunk of wood without having to clutch the stick to move this beam, this lever arm. We don't, we don't, we could do this. Oh, you see, to change the sound of it. What we're doing is we're playing with a three finger grip so that 
we have the opportunity to use that narrow fulcrum for rebounds and to make up and down motions moving around that's that little point that little fulcrum point so that you get you get this it would be quite much like this It looks like like the okay, so this really is a three finger grip. Okay, and I'm not not doing any pulling. There's no fingers. It's just maintaining this grip and turning my wrist to the floor every time. Good. Yeah, you see, so there really is, once you realize, I mean, how, how much does a stick weigh? Right? I mean, there's some weight to it, but how much does it really weigh? Do we really need to do this to move to move the stick from here to here? Well, Murray Spivak and Dick Wilson said no. And also you get you get the sound of the stick. You can hear it, listen. There's clutching with all fingers. Or it's a, it's a, it's a higher pitch. Uh, uh, okay, like clave, like clave. There's a certain way don't, we don't we don't grip it like this, which is why you hurt yourself, but we don't grip it like this. We grip it like a, I'm not a I'm not a, a hand percussion guy. But we something like that, right? We want to hear the ring of the clave or the stick. Okay. Okay, good. Now <clears throat> we started to get into something last week when <clears throat> we had a power failure in Toronto. And uh, so let's take a look at a stroke now, okay? Because um, Dick Wilson would always give you, typically, every lesson you'd, you'd get, there'd be reading, there'd be a stroke, there'd be perhaps singles, and, and rebounds. Probably roll strokes, you know. So let's see what we can get get in here today. Now, sometimes I do wish that Dick had spent a little more time on a particular thing with me. Um, and so we'll see how, how deep we want to go. Let's get a sense as to where you are now. Um, well, we had you playing alternating flams, right? I think it was at 72. What would that look like? I'm going to try it again. Damn thing. Okay, so alternating flams. No. No. Go ahead. I have new memory for this computer, so additional memory. We'll see. All the, the top computer minds in my in my sphere contributing, trying to help me understand what to do. Okay, so go ahead. Yeah, just play quarter notes. So you haven't you haven't figured out the single stroke. Now, okay, so this this, this technique. 
have the we have the grip. We have the grip. We have we have a wrist turn. We have a wrist turn, right? And we also have motions. We have motions. Right? The, start by moving around. Martinez would say a fixed point in the universe. Dick Wilson would say you go up and you leave the bead down. Sometimes Dick would say and you lead with the butt end. Okay. And and so that part of it is honest goodness. It's a wrist turn. Look. It's a wrist turn. You have to turn your wrist. Now, if when I turn my wrist, I don't I want you now to turn your wrist with your elbow pinned to your side and feel how much tension builds up. You see? Okay, stop, stop, don't move, don't move. That's what happens. You see your bead came up. He interfered with the natural functioning of the body. Watch, you held it here and you went up and this happened. What we wanna do is we wanna turn our wrists, leave this assembly alone. Whatever happens, happens. With this grip, and we go up, and we leave the bead down, and we go up by turning our wrist. The elbow doesn't do this. The elbow doesn't do this. The elbow does move a little. Does yours? You turn your wrist with the bead down. No, you led with your arm. First thing I saw was this come up. You have to turn your wrist. A little better, there. The elbow swiveled a tiny bit. Tiny bit, Murray would say, ah, it comes out maybe, and of course it depends on how high we go up, but he'd say maybe two butt ends. Look how little that is. Here's none, and here's two, <laughs> tiny. But it doesn't stay like this. Yanking the, yanking the bead up, thinking that's it, because it's not. You go up, leading by turning your wrist. Do it again. Go on up. Good, good. Now keep turning. Go up higher. Higher. You don't get to leave your bead. Bring your, yeah, go up higher. Starting to happen, isn't it? Go up higher. See, that's turning your wrist. There, you're up by turning your wrist. See, your elbow did come out. Did it come up high enough? Okay, now we're going to turn our wrist in the other direction, like this. You always want to, it's pretty good, but you always want to come up higher. You don't understand that this is it. You see? You know, even if I took you all the way up, you'd find a way to go even further before you throw. This isn't enough for you to just let this unravel. Yeah, see, that's what it is. Only is. We're only going up to here. Let's go up to here, okay? You don't get to go up anymore. This thing is done. It's gonna unravel. Good, what you feel that you wanna feel the torque. You wanna feel the circular motion creating force downward. Go on. Boom, yeah, yeah. And to get the arm to come down, the forearm's gonna lead on the way down, you have to, Murray would say, cock your wrist. You gotta cock, yeah, and feel the relationship, the torque that happens as you turn. Okay? You really don't wanna, if you lift up at all, you lose the feeling of the, Torque. Still wanted to come up a little. Now come down slowly for me. Show me what that would look like slowly. Okay, go on, turn. Yeah, feel the torque. There it is. You can feel it. Now finish. There, you could feel the torque going slowly. Good. You should also have a three finger grip. Right? This th three finger grip is going to exist as we go up. We go up, and as we come down, it's this three-finger grip with the other fingers just hanging out. 
Okay, now can you can you play alternating flaps with that motion? If you can't, you if you can't if you can't make a clean motion, then how are you going to get upstrokes not lifting to the ceiling? It's the Murray Spivak single stroke. Remember that video we did a while back got a lot of hits because people are no, you're lifting. This is the SHIT. Better? No, you don't get to turn up to the ceiling. Now you're playing half notes. Maybe you need the time, which is cool. It's cool. But then would it be an upstroke? Uh, uh, no, see, you, you need to play, play at least as good notes. You're dropping, 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 dropping. Dropping it, just this beautiful, relaxed motion. Okay, try. It. You got to get this. You got to really dig deep now and get this. This is the technique. This is now we're incorporating motions. You've got your wrist turn, got a pretty good grip. Your singles are pretty fast. Why can't you do this? You can figure out one part of the technique. Come on, this is the same. It's a wrist turn. It's a wrist turn this way, then it's a wrist turn that way, and as you go up, you just drop the feed. Yeah, it's too much for your mind. Your mind's freaking out. Just the right hand. Just the right hand. Up, down. 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 No, it's not it. It's not it. No, I'll, I'll explain to you why that's not it. This is what I'm talking about where sometimes Dick would just move on, you know, it'd be like pretty good. You know, yeah, you but you know, but maybe I wish he'd he'd have, you know, beat me up a little more. Okay, so what we're what we're doing is we're uh we're not doing this. You want to be kind of twisting a little. You, you make your tap, you might even leave the bead down. And then I see the whole thing travel up. E even if you don't bring the bead up, watch. It doesn't tap and then keep going. Well, it could. <laughs> but what you're doing is you're, you're, you're not making the tap synchronized with the motion. So the motion is just, why even bother? In, in other words, you're just wasting your time. If you don't get this part of it, you see, because in, with this technique, we don't go moving unless there's a note associated with the, with the physical motion. OK, and that's what you're doing. You're physically moving after you make a tap. A bunch. What I want you to feel is the relationship between the note. And the down note down note. See, I don't need to keep coming up. No, now Dick might come up a little more. He'd go note, but this has to be connected. Because Murray would have you note, 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 up, down, not up, down. No, now I'm going to keep moving down. No, now I'm going to keep moving. All that movement is like. The opposite of the idea of efficiency, which is what this technique is all about. So you have to get the feeling of note. Now you can use gravity or you can turn, but you're making a note. So just go ahead and do that. Do that. Nope, kept moving. There's one motion. No, 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 no. You're not still not stay with me now. I didn't. I just asked you for this. So really, you're going to have to go really deep here. Coach. Just want this. Hear my note. Watch. Note. Listen, listen. Note. I'm done. I'm up. But you have to go up. There's a little. And on the, on the forearm will follow it. But from the wrist, try it again. 
No, you're moving. It's watch. It's note. Take the stick out of your hand. You're not getting the free. This is also half the effort, twice the speed. You're supposed to get a free note. This note, and then I'm going to move in a free note. You're adding extra. It's worse than it's the opposite of a free note. <laughs> so stick out of your hand. Stick out of the hand. OK, you have a little three finger grip. I don't mind if you kind of mimic it. So you're holding a stick and you're going to go note. You have to say note, note. We look, you're you're holding your arm tight, so it just goes note, and nothing happens. See, for me, if well, see if I push down on something, go ahead and put your hand on the surface and roll up a little. There, see your elbow move, didn't it? Feels like that. Now, if you pull it back and put it on your leg, you see your elbow move. You're a little stretched out, but it'll work that way. This would feel more like what it feels like to play. If you roll up, things move like that. You, that never happens, and that's your note. So you go, note, let's do that. Note, say note. All right, don't rush it, just note. You have to say, as soon as you start to roll, note. It's all one thing. Try it again. Come back down. Note. Say note. Note. OK. OK, so now what we're going to do is we're going to just we're going to do, do this now. Put your hand under no stick. Put your hand left hand underneath. That's your fixed point in the universe. Got to get down parallel so you're at the surface. Going to play See, stick would be right here. So now I'm here. No, your stick would be over here somewhere. I want you as though you're playing. OK, now put your hand on. No, nope, you don't get to. No, you're out of position. Put a stick in your right hand. Show me the center of the surface where you play. Go to the center of the surface. Good. Now, don't move that hand, right hand. Take the stick out of your hand with your left and put it on your lap. Keep the right hand there. OK, but put it on your lap. Keep the right hand there and put your left hand underneath. Don't move the right hand. That's where I want you. OK, now just roll up without letting your fingertips leave your hand. There, come back down. You got it. Now this time say note. Note. OK, just it's one one action. Note. Note. There. That's it. That's all it is. Now, now, now. Come back to your position. Come back to your position. I want you to don't change anything. I want you to move your hand a half an inch away. Right now, this time is that that's so now your fingertips would be like the the, the, the tip of the stick. As if you were holding the stick and that tip, which are your fingertips are going to touch, going to go down a half an inch as you say note. You'll feel it touch your hand as you say note. Do it. That didn't say note. You got it. Note. There. You just touched. Now cock your wrist and make a downstroke. Just don't come up anymore. Just turn your wrist to the ceiling and let the forearm come down a tiny bit. And then boom. That's a single stroke. Look how little you moved. That's really what it is. Note and say note. Note. Yeah, you can do it in real time. Note, note. Note, note. That's what it is. It's not, it's not this. Note, note, note. Lift up a little more. You know, it's a simple thing, man. It's up, which is a note. Down, which is a note. Wrist turn, wrist turn. Try it. You, you got, you'll get this. Come on, you just had it with no stick, which is cool. That's all it's going to feel like. So now instead of your fingertips acting like they're a half an inch away from your hand, now it's, it's been elongated because we have a, 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 le a, bean, a lever arm in our hand. Now it's going to be the bead that are like, akin to your fingertips. 
you're going to go down that half an inch, like when you touched your hand, and you're going to say, note, almost. That's it. Now, now just cock your wrist and make another note coming back down. That's all it is. It's the up is hard, Dick would say. So it can be confusing. You got it. OK, try it again. Just one motion. Note. Remember how it felt when you rolled. Remember when you rolled, you didn't just lift up. The elbow came out a little. So think of rolling. Note, a little, a little, and make another note on the way down. Wrist turn. There, do it again. Don't turn to the ceiling first. You got it? Cock. Now remember, the arm is going to fall almost preceding the cocking. It, it's the first. It, it's motivated by the cocking of the wrist of the ceiling and the forearm. Look how little it's going to move. That's all it moved. Note, look, that's how much it went up. It's got to return. Just to that. There. Go ahead and do it again. Note, don't keep moving. Note, you're done moving. Note, note you're moving. It doesn't go note. It goes, nope, nope, don't keep moving. It's one boom, it's your note. Note, note. Do it again. Note. Don't keep coming up. That's good, do it again. Note. No, come on, it's clean, it's clean. Come up a tiny bit, you don't have to come up much. Didn't stop moving. Coming up too much because you're moving after you place so like your note. Note, note, don't come up so high. Just come up a little. Note, a little I'm moving. Note. Put your, put your first finger of your left hand on, over your wrist. Try this. Put it a half an inch above. Get down parallel. Parallel. Put the finger a half an inch above. And you're going to feel your top of your wrist touch that finger when you say oop, when you say no there that's it don't change this finger it's got to be flat come on keep it up a half an inch that's all it is there it is that's all it is do it again no no i don't want you moving i want you to bump into it it's a half an inch above that's it there don't no don't don't come up higher you pushed your finger up you're going to just barely move it's a wrist turn. It's just a wrist turn, but it's going this way. It turns and it's just going to tap. No, put your finger there. That was really good. That helped you. Go on, just bump into it. That's your turn. Say note. Note. There you go. And now cock your wrist. Here you go. Note. So now, now what you could do is you could go note and then put your finger a half an inch down and touch it on the bottom of your wrist. Note, go on, now put your other, now put the finger underneath, <laughs> okay? So it's note, just keep it on top right now. No, come on, just bump it to that. That's your note, you'll feel. When you feel it touch your first finger, that's when you'll hear the note. Note, don't move your finger up, you always come up too much. You only get to come up a half an inch. Note. There. Don't bring up the bead. Yeah. You already want to lift up the bead. You're turning. Turn. That's it. Come on. Bead stays down. Then you're rolling around it. See if you're rolling around it, your elbow might come out a little bit. There you go. Now, when you come down, I want you to exaggerate. Murray would really have you, so you can feel it. Watch. Dick would do it a little differently, but let's just stick with Murray right now. There's your little note. Now you're going to cock your wrist. Look, cock your wrist. Come on now, cock your wrist. There. Cock, cock it even more. Just so you really feel that turn on the way down. No, don't lift anymore. You already made your note. You don't want to lift again. Why? Say note. Note. Don't come up. You came up too much. Too much. Nope, that's all. Keep the bead down. You already want to lay that bead up. It doesn't come up until you go the other way. Now, cock your wrist. The arm will fall if you really cock. No, cock your wrist. Cock 
Garrett. Cock it even more this time. Don't come up higher. Too much. Too much. <laughs> Too much. Put your hand on top. Too much. You moved your finger. It's just going to bump in there. Keep the bead down. Now cock even more. Do it again. You got it. Cock your wrist now. Cock your wrist way up to the ceiling. Came up too much. Like that. Even more. Just a tiny up. Don't oh, too much. You're moving your finger. This is going to bump into the finger. Too much. Don't move the finger in your left hand. It's just going to touch it gently. That's it. It's your marker. Now cock your wrist. And come down. Just do it. And just now cock your wrist. Cock it more. Do it again. You move too much. Now really cock your wrist. Huge wrist turn. Come on, turn. Higher. Hit yourself in the glasses. Come on. No, you're coming up too much. You lost it. You lost the up. Too much. Moving your finger. There. You're, now you're not cocking your wrist on the way down. Look. You're, you're really close. You, you're kind of have it. Watch. Can you, can, you, can you cock your wrist? How much can you cock your wrist? Can you cock your wrist all the way up to here? Can you cock your wrist all the way up to here? Go on. There, that's what I want you to do. You, look, you're already doing it. All I want you to do is this tiny little thing before you do that. And then you cock your wrist. Okay, you got that, Joe? You got that? It's the other little thing you do before it. No, you're moving your hand. <laughs> you can't remember. Just touch it. There. Look, it's as though you didn't even come up, isn't it? Like you didn't even come up. Look, your stick is pointed down. Now cock your wrist like you just did over and over. No, you don't have to come up more. Just cock your wrist. Why aren't you cocking it like when you did make a little motion? Why is making a little motion preventing you from hitting yourself in the face? All the way and in real time. Get some momentum. Eh, there. Don't come up so much. There. No, you don't get to come up more. It's a wrist turn. You keep thinking it's an arm thing. There. Cock your wrist. It's like you didn't even make a motion. But you are. Can you cock more? If you cock more, the arm will come down. There it is, cock more. As high as you can. High, even higher. There it is. Come on, let that arm fall as you cock really high. There. Come on, come to the floor. Right. That's half of a flam. Go faster. Keep the floor. Don't lose your floor. Don't come up too much. And once you come up, you don't get to come up anymore. You're just going to cock your wrist. Come on, three finger grip, cock your wrist. The stick should be moving through that fulcrum a little bit, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Uh, 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 uh. Look, it comes away from the palm a little bit, doesn't it? Yeah, you see, he's clutching it like that. See, see it'll, then you'll get some height. You clamp down, it won't go up. Yeah, turn and let your let let the thing come up. This is another form of torque, perhaps. Three finger grip. Turn your turn your wrists. Three finger grip. Come on, get the other fingers off for a minute. You probably can't even see what I'm doing. Don't pump with your arm. Just turn your wrist. Just do that in the air for a minute. You can kind of, you can, if you, if, if you don't follow through, I mean, can you, how, how come I don't see your butt end swinging out when you do that? You feel the butt end swing, kind of bump into your palm, don't you, on the way down? You feel that? Look how high I'm turning. Look how high I'm turning. Look, up here. See? It's a big, that's why you can't, when you play singles, it was hard for you to come up. Come on. Three finger grip. You don't have to clutch the stick. Don't play. Take your fourth and fifth off. Go on now. Turn like that. 
turn. Turn in the air, away from the pad so you don't bump into it. Just turn like this. Tie as you can and then back to where you started. So turn away from the. It's, it's not much of a wrist turn, is it? See, that's the problem. Kind of. You feel it. All the energy go zoop to the tip and then zoop back down to the tip. You have to feel zoop to the tip. Come on. Zoop. Zoop. Come on, send it flying. You want to feel the energy roll out to the tip. No, just on the way up. Copy me. Come on, just zoop up. Okay, and then zoop down. Zoop up from the wrist. Zoop down. Up. They, your fingers, they look, they look like what we talked about earlier. They're like this. Your fulcrum is way down here somewhere. If you're, you're playing like this. So this finger is closer. Middle finger is closer to the first finger. Good. Now take your other fingers away a little bit, just for remedial purposes. Now wave the stick around and feel it rolling through that three finger grip. Listen, can you hear mine making a sound? Listen. Keep going. You feel the butt end bumping into your palm on the way down? It's starting to come along. Come on, you got to keep it coming all the way up. Why can't you keep it coming all the way up and then all the way down? Come on, turn, turn, turn. Dick would scream it at you. Take your fourth and fifth off. Turn, turn, don't stop your turn. Come on, there you go. There it is. Whipping that little light hunk of wood around. Okay, now all you're going to do is make that little motion up <laughs> and cock your wrist like I just showed you. Watch how big my wrist turn is on the way down. I get this, or I would tap, tap, and then cock, tap, cock, tap. Too much. You're just going back to your old thing. This is what you're doing. No, no, I'm blowing it up. It's not. Essentially, just watch. This is what you're doing. Not that. It's this. Totally different. Got to put your finger. There you go. You didn't cock enough on the way down. You got it without your finger. That's it. Now cock your wrist. More. Murray would come all the way. He had Murray. He had him, Louis. <laughs> and now you're going to cock again. And he's back here. And I can't get you to come up even this side. Okay, you're not going to. You were never going to go. But yeah, okay, could you? Could you come up so you're perpendicular? There you go. Perpendicular, like that. After you make your little tap, Get your other fingers off. I know you want to grab with them. You just desperately don't want to play. Okay, it's that little tap at the beginning. Too much, too much. You lost everything. You got to be at the floor. Oh, and it's just this little thing. You're all twisted and something funny is happening. Come on, get to the floor. Put your other finger above. Make a tap. Too much, but see, your bead's coming up. Leave the bead down. There you go. Now cock so the stick comes perpendicular to the floor. Come on. Ta-da! That was it. That's it. Don't come up too much. No, it doesn't come up. Once you're done coming up, all you do is cock your wrist now. No, you don't come up more thinking that's going to help. It won't. Cock your wrist as though you never came up. Like you're just at the floor going like this. See, you're not making, but you're going to fool yourself and you're going to make a little motion. And then you're going to cock your wrist like you never came up. And all the way to the perpendicular. All the way to perpendicular. Too much on the way up. Don't come up anymore. There you go. There it is. See how risky that is? There's, you're not getting this arm thing. It's, there, it's just a wrist turn. Too much. You're not at the floor on the way down. You have to stop at the floor. 
the arm collapsed. There, you're all the way at the floor. You got it. Okay. No, nope. you went right back to your old thing. <laughs> yeah, you better do that for a while. That's all it is. Now, if you could do that with both hands, you'd have alternating thwams. You'd have ah, 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 ah. And if you separated them and put one on your leg, you'd just see this. See what's happening? See how high my stick comes up? See, once I make my note, I don't come up anymore. For you right now, I'm doing a Murray's feedback. Yeah, I can't go, we can't go any further until you get this because I want to get you into letting that stick bounce. It, stick is, look, look. See, it's a three finger grip. You feel it starts, you can get it to bounce now. Okay. So, can you put them together? You have the concentration to go up that little bit. Talk too much. Don't keep moving in the left. That's all it is. Now cock. Tiny little turn. Now you only get to bend forward. That little tiny turn. There, no, it's tiny. Almost cock. So the up is tiny, isn't it? No, the up is tiny. The right, no, the right doesn't lift to the ceiling. It does that little thing where it bumps into your finger. You've lost it. Where's the little thing where it bumps into your finger? Now, the right. There it is. Cock. There it is. Cock. In the left. We're going to make concentrate on the little up. No, nope, you've made the up after. Tiny little up. Come on, it didn't go up. Left has to touch your finger. That's it. There you go, cock. Almost. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, you're starting to get it. Yep. See how little it is? This tiny little bend. This tiny little bend. You got it. So you, your way of doing it is to concentrate just on the right, bumping into your finger, and then cocking your wrist. And then, then you move your shift your mind to focus on the left and, and concentrate on that. Okay. So now, let's let's see if we will incorporate that motion into. Let me see. Okay, now we're going to play a flam accent number two. Okay, do you have that? Yeah. That motion you're making, see what's on your t-shirt? Paradiddle. It's going to be that little tiny thing you just learned. It happens all the time. It's, that's it. It just goes like tiny and then you cock your wrist. You break the tension. You just barely need to move. Dick would say, you know, they probably don't even know I'm moving. So I'm moving so little. They think I'm just turning my wrist. They don't know I'm moving. See, it's that subtle. OK. Yeah, see, you always want your grip like that. See, right down at the floor. So if you make that little bend, you'll get a no. Why that floor is so great. OK, so flam accent number two. Play it with no metronome. We're in six, eight. What we're looking at are play what we're looking at is playing this stroke using these motions go for it nice and slow on the wrist i'm just looking for motions no well your throat's getting better you don't have to come up very high i mostly just want a left tiny little bend even if it's not an upstroke a tiny little bend. So different speeds will incorporate uh, whether or not we actually make an upstroke strokes. So we have we have uh, 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 uh. You probably don't even know what I'm doing here. 
to get it going. Now, see, I'm, I'm stopping the beat down, but now I'm going to let it bounce. getting this thing to bounce. Okay, so what am I doing? I'm going to show you a Richard Martinez thing, which we started, I started to get into last week. We have just a little more time, so I want to get, get this. It's what we just worked on in a sense. The idea is you're going to make a little turn to the surface and look. Maybe it only moves three quarters of an inch, or I, I should say, maybe maybe less than a half an inch, maybe only a quarter of an inch. Make a look. You have to start parallel. Start parallel. Okay, just in the right. Just in the right. No. Nope. Yeah, but I want you to make a little note. Gosh, I'm saying less than a half, less than what you were doing before that you were successful at. Nope, half that much. Still too much. Lead with that wrist. Lead. Oh, note. Now go up again and make another note like that. Tiny, tiny, tight. No, I want you to go up again. Make another note. Note. So you get two. Come back down. You give me two little notes with ups. Note. Top. Too much. Note. Yeah. Less. Note, good. Another one. Note. Now cock your wrist. Don't come up anymore. Three finger grip. Let that stick move through there. Do it again. Note. Note. Cock your wrist. Do that the other hand. Note. Note. Cock a little more. Give me a real wrist turn on the way down. Even more. Really send that stick flying up to the ceiling. Okay, you got the idea. You got the idea. Okay, so now we're going. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, let's see. Ah. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, up, 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 up. with the metronome so right now we're just making two notes without letting it rebound but you see what happens you can start to move around if you have a narrow fulcrum you can move around this stick that's bouncing and make these motions okay so we'll see Okay, put the metronome at 60. Yeah, we're playing going to play alternating flams with no metronome, and you're just going to Move your mind from one side to the other. 
making sure you're getting this little thing you felt today. Yeah, so you come up a lot, potentially a lot less than you think. Okay, always staying close to the surface. Okay, so go ahead and play this joke. One, two, three, four is a dotted quarter. It's in six eight. Okay, now what we're trying to do is we're trying to see so you can play this any old way. But we're trying to play it with a, in a very specific way. A Spivakian way. Okay, so go ahead and put your left hand on your calf. And go ahead and play it. I want two up and one down in the right. Kind of like symbol time. One, it'll go down, up, up. No, you're coming up after you make your, oh, you see how much you're coming up? You get the first one good. No, 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 you lost it. You're just back to this. This is your, this, this is not it. This is not what we want. This is not it. Now watch. This is not what we want. Here's what we want. Tap, tap, cock. Look how little bit. Tap, tap, cock. Tap, tap, cock. Tap, tap, cock. Tap, tap, cock your wrist to the ceiling. Cock, prone, prone, cock. Murray, prone, prone. Look, it's not this. This is you. It's not the technique. Something else. Something maybe you learned in Toronto or I don't know. I don't want to blame Toronto. Yeah, I don't know. So um... it's a little tap, tap, moving like a quarter of an inch for each one. And then you cock your wrist. That's all it is. Go for it. First one. Yeah, it's simple time. Tap, tap. Down, up, up. But the up, ups are tiny. Down, up, up. Almost. You almost had it. Where are those up, ups happening? Let's see. You just down, tap, blah. Tap, blah, blah. No, you're back to your thing. Yeah, you're back to your thing. You had it for a minute. Don't think about the rhythm. You're, you're a little confused by the stroke. Just get the right hand. Just, just trust in the universe here. There it is. No, nope, you don't get to come up after the. No, nope, you don't get to come up. You get to stop. You have to stop. Oh, tap, tap. There it is. Now cock your wrist. You have to get the timing. Tap, tap. Don't keep coming up. That's it. Too much. Yeah, you're going to stop at the second one. You're going to stop at the second right there and cock your wrist. You're at the top. Cock, cock. Stop. Uh, pronate, pronate. There, cock. Tap, tap. Don't stop after the second tap. Stop after the second tap. Stop after the second tap. There it is. You're aimed down, now you're ready to cock. Come up, no, don't come up more. You're done coming up. We don't want to come up very much. You're throwing away all your power. Tap, tap, cock. You got it. Tap, tap, no, tap, tap, cock. Tap, tap, it's a little slow. So maybe you wouldn't stop quite as long. It's a little faster. You won't feel that stop quite as much. But for remedial, there it is. There it is. That no, came up too much. There it is. No, don't come up anymore. The second tap has to be just as much as the first tap and you stop. There it is. Tap, tap, stop, 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 stop. Right, sorry, I'm saying tap, stop, bro. Tap, stop. Not stop playing. Sorry. Tap, tap, and you stop. Tap, tap, that's it. Don't keep coming up after your second note. Hey, you're set up. Don't come up. Turn. You're going down. The next thing you're going to do is the whole assembly is going to go down. There, do that in the other hand. Do that in the other hand. Don't come up after your second tap. Don't shove your arm. Just cock your wrist. Don't shove your arm. No, you don't get to shove. No, you don't get to come up after your second tap. There. No, you don't get to come up after you stop. You go cock your wrist. You need all the time in the world to get that stick up to your face. There it is. Cock. There it is. Ah, I did better than the right. The fat one. You really sent that stick flying up. That's all it is, dude. Put them together. You got it. That's it. Up, up. 
throw, up, up, throw. No, don't go lifting after your second tap. It's got to be perfect or it won't work. You no, know, it's wrong again. It's got to go tap, tap, and stop before you cock your wrist. Go ahead and play. Yeah, you kind of got this here. Both hands on the surface now. Can you concentrate on both hands? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. Up, 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 tap, tap. There it is, almost. Where's the little ups? Where's the left? Up, tap, tap, cock. Tap, tap, too much. It stops after the second tap in the left. Tap, tap, you're stopped. Come on, up, up, throw. Up, up, in the left, throw. Up, up, stop. Don't come up more. No, you have to come up twice in the left. Almost. Yeah, you're up. Let's assume you're much closer to the surface. Now the right has to make two little taps from the from parallel, and then and then you don't go up anymore. You cock your wrist. But Chad Wackerman was wearing those yellow goggles for a while. I think he almost hit himself in the eye. Or he may have. Which I which I've done too. Thank goodness for my glasses. Come on, it's just a little tap. No, you don't come up after. No, you're preparing. The little two taps in the right are the preparation. You're not the two taps in the right now. What happened to your symbol time? Uh, Talking about the right, it goes tap tap from parallel. Tap tap, bro. Tap tap, cock your wrist. Oh, it is. There it is. You got it. Okay, so you're gonna have to work on this, but you got it. That's all it is. Don't come up more after your second tap. Don't come up after your second tap. You're going the other direction after your second tap. No, no, you go up for taps. No, you don't go up anymore after your note. No, you're going up. Now you have to go down. No, don't, don't, you're already up. You just don't know it. It's too subtle, huh? Look, tap, tap, you're up. You don't go up more. You're going down now. You're cocking your wrist to go down. The, the arm might go down that much. But all the weight of this and the torque of it, try it one more time on the left. Don't go up after your second tap. That's it. Now cock your wrist. Keep doing it. Simple time. Play simple time. This is gonna, you know how much this is going to help your jet? No, you don't go up after. That's how you're playing simple time. So you're getting a real clunky downbeat on your single. Probably how you're playing simple time. Oh, you don't go up after the second tap. <laughs> oh, bless you. You don't go up after the second tap. You don't go up after the second tap. No, you're just going to go up to, for two little taps. And you don't go up anymore. You're just going to cock your wrist. That's it. That's it. That's it. See? That's it. That's that's much better. So it's how nice you. You're now you're down because of no, no. Okay, well, okay, Kevin. Just I just want to um, backtrack a little bit here and rewind a bit. So you're getting me to play um, two motions. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you have to come up on each one of them. You have to come up for each one of them. And then you want me to stop. Well, don't you? Isn't that a motion? A motion stops. Yeah, a motion stops. You can play a lot of them. And you want me to, as you say, cock the wrist and do that. Right? That's it. So you come up. So you don't come up anymore. Okay. So there. Tap, tap. Don't come up anymore. Don't come up even the littlest bit. You want to go down now. Now it goes down as you cock to the ceiling. It barely moves. See how little it is? But it, it feels to me that it's. That's it. That's it. Don't go up anymore. That's it. Cock your, you see? Pronating, cock. Pronate. No, don't go up after. You have to, you're preparing. You're preparing in a tiny way that's almost unrecognizable. You have to go up for those two taps. There it is. 
That's it. That's it. Really cock your wrist. Exaggerate the cocky. There you go. There it is. There it is. That's simple time. One way of playing real simple time. Using this technique. You know how nice that is? Three finger grip, don't need all that stuff. Like, look how little you're moving. Dang, dang, gang. Gang, go dang, gang, dang. And now you know what you're doing. Look how close you are to the surface. Look how solid that is. Yeah, that's right. Whack! There it is. Uh, I get what you're trying to get me to do now. Yeah. yeah, much better. Let's take one quick look. Put the metronome out at 40. Now we'll just go into, because we want to get all the essential ingredients packed into one fortified uh, kind of meal for having a no, we're not doing the Swiss chalet until after the lesson, Joe. Right, 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 right. After the lesson. Okay. All right. So now you've got this Mitch Peters number eight. Yeah. Um, six motions per. Six motions per. Uh, pulse. Just give me a moment, Kevin. I just need to, uh, I sneezed for a while back. Uh, Joe, I can't take you anywhere. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, eight. 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 Okay, so you see. Well, Joe, um, okay, so, so what's happening is you can see these motions, traditional or otherwise. definitely have fulcrum in the right and we definitely have a fulcrum in the left okay but the distinction between the traditional and the matched is that in traditional we're rotating now other stuff happens it's true so that there is down at the surface just like in the right we end up getting to here, right? So there, there are similarities, but the right is turning and the left is rotating, okay? So that's the distinction. I've lost my Canadian student. I don't know where he's probably hanging out with Don Thompson or Dave Restivo. Wonderful pianist. What about Dave Restivo? He played. He, we played over at Don Thompson's house. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Um, okay. So, hey, let, let's just take a quick look at this. Hey, so. Maybe, maybe what we'll do. Put the metronome on at forty. What are we looking at, Roman numeral? Don't worry about it for a second. Let's, 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 I'm going in another direction now. Oh, okay. It's the same thing. You're going to have to review that reading, okay? But so, but what we're going to do is one, one two, three. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, two, one. 
Okay, I guess we'll go ahead and pull out the reading. Pull out the reading. Four, five, six. We've made the will. Uh, I don't like the phrase killing two birds with one stone, but. Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. You see, there are four. Well, central Roman numeral six, seven, right? Eight. Eight. Roman numeral eight. Okay, so so page nine then, Roman numeral three, caps variation three, right? The six foci hand motion. Play it. Okay. Play the darn thing. Just okay. play the just play the first bar. There are four variations or four iterations. Okay, okay, I'm just getting a sense. I'm just getting a sense of what's written here. Okay, cool. Metronome at 40. And I'll just see if I can tie this into what you just learned. Which is probably more of a big deal than you realize. Oh, no, I only stop you from that incessant thing. Uh, you know how it is. <laughs> yeah, I do. That's why, that's why I do. Try to be very patient because I do know what it's well, like. I, I, I'm very really patient too. <laughs> right. Uh, it, 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 it takes one to know one. That's the first bar. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Go for it. You know it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, you got it. It's nothing. Nothing, right? Okay, so, so this watch. So here's what we got happening. You kind of lost everything. That's how this technique works. That's what, why we need strokes. That's why we need reading. Essentially, you're really just playing roll strokes here. And everything is, even though it's, it is better, but you've lost what you've just learned. You're not really incorporating it. Yeah. First of all, I know, I know you love, You'd love to dig in and, and you're pumping your arms, so it's not a wrist turn. It's not a wrist turn. It's not this technique. So you can play with, you don't need this. You can use any technique and get this out. The goal is to get this out with this technique. So let me just, we're running out of time here, okay? okay. But, but, but the gig is, is that, remember singles? Remember what a single, a single felt like? See what a single feels like? Let's see, a double should feel that way. It has to have that. It has to have this. It has to have that. One. So we're getting, so you're not getting that. So you just want to play some singles. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, pop, 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 so you're here somewhere. One, two, three, four, five, Turn your wrist. Come on up a little bit. I couldn't get you to do this. Remember, it was hard during stick. We're just here now. Come on, back. we're just here. We're just here. Okay, now we're going to turn those into doubles. One, two, three, four, five, eight. One, two, three, four, five, eight. One, two, three. See how it looks? Now, see? You have to turn your wrist. Now watch, now watch, 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 watch. What I just taught you. One, two, up, four, five, up, up. Two notes, isn't there? See, see how it looks? One, two, three, here, five, 
go up, two up, one down, 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 one down, two up, and one down, down, up, down, up, down, two up, one 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 down, two up. It's the same thing. So if you're going to play this, because it's all leading right, it's not a five stroke rule. I want you to see if you can turn your wrists, have that grip that I told you about. You're going to feel the, the stick rocking over the middle finger. It's going to come in contact with that middle finger, just like your singles. And then just before you make your accent, you're going to go up, not like you did a few minutes ago, where your up was just this, right back to your old thing. No, your up is. One, two, three, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So watch. See, see. One, two, three. The, the, the three is where you make your little ups. Only it's going to be bouncing. But you get the idea. You're going to stop and cock your wrist. You're not going to yank the beat away from the surface and be playing in a inefficient manner. Go ahead and try it. Now all you're going to think about is the grip, turning your wrist, and the timing of that upstroke. That's it. That's it. Yes. Go. One, two, three. No, you just don't get to yank the, the, the doubles up. And the doubles aren't in French. A wrist turn isn't this. A wrist turn is this, I thought. When you play your singles, Go ahead and play singles. Play singles. Just singles. Murray Spivak, like you did. You were pound down. Come on. That's what a double looks like. Now let that bounce. Don't change your hand position. Let it bounce. Don't change your hand position. We go into singles now, couldn't it? Now just make a little up. Yeah, tiny. It's going to be tiny. You're going to, no, you're going to like make a little up and almost stop. There, cock your wrist. It's about the cocking of the wrist, not that big up. Cock your wrist more. Oh, almost. No, you came up too much. No, now you're going to your side. You lost your singles, which you, you're killing. Why do you throw that away? Because you're going to doubles? I don't know. A little up. It's all about the cocking to the ceiling. Flat, like singles. Come on, you got it. Doubles, doubles. Little narrow fulcrum. Now make that little up and cock your wrist. Don't go sideways. Come on, flat. So you can make that little two notes. Go on. Give me up. Too much up. It's tiny. Too much up. It's more about the cocking of the wrist. There. More cocking of the wrist. Come on, play. You got this. Stay flat. More cocking. Less up. Less up. Less. Less. Pass, more cocking. Pass. There you go. Too much. Too much. There. Cock your wrist. Flick that energy out to the tip. That's what we want to get to. There you go. There you go. All right. Stop while you're ahead. You got, you got the idea. Okay. You can see that these things I'm showing you. They're universal with regards to this technique. They're going to fit together and give you this perfect machine. I hope so. It's up to me. What was it? They said to Martina Navratilova, the great tennis player, you, 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 you play like you're a, a machine. She says, I am a machine. Uh, uh. But you're a machine with emotion. Right, because that's what we're bringing to this. But we have to have this stuff together so that we can start to get out what it is we're hearing and feeling, yeah. Yeah. right? Not with the hands or the, the instrument and playing said instrument, interfere with getting our musical thoughts directly out to the audience. Okay, turning off the camera.